What's going on, people? Thank you for joining me for another beer battle. Yes, it's Beer Monster O'Clock. Now, this is going to be an interesting one, shall we say, because I think these are both the sort of uh, beers that you sort of class as super strength beers. Like in the UK, you know, you sort of uh, super tenants, special brew, that kind of thing. But these are two Turkish beers that uh, <laughs> my mum and brother recently come back from Turkey. And they thought we were about some Turkish beers. And I swear they just picked the strongest ones they could get their filthy hands on. Sent them to me for a review. So I thought I'd put them together because they're both by, called Turborg. All right. But they're not the same beer. On my left, we have Turborg Special Strong Beer. 7.5% ABV, 500ml can. You know, that's, that's pretty strong. Then it? it's got the old foil bit on the top to stop there getting any nasties on it. And then we have this one called Tuborg Shot. It's a shot of beer, but it's it's not a shot measurement. It's 237 mils. That's a random size can, isn't it? And it's 9% this one. I'm just wondering why they put it in a, such a small can. It must be really something, mustn't it? Uh, <laughs> considering this is like twice the size of can, it's not that much weaker. So yeah, uh, let's get them open, shall we? They both say, all over the can, and even on the silver bit on top, that they're 100% more. <laughs> he even says it there, look. Jesus. Underneath the silver bit. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they want everybody to know. I wonder if this one does it. No, this one doesn't do it. This one's not 100% more, maybe. I don't know. No, yeah, it says 100% more on the side, but they didn't go to the extreme. I've never seen that before. Printed on the actual rim. It's actually printed. It's not a sticker absolutely mental anyway <laughs> we'll start with the big boy shall we say although it's not the big boy as far as abv goes and uh we put it in the big star of Pramen czech glass because it's a big beer we'll put it in a big glass all right now this is just more of a double review than a beer battle i suppose i thought i'd do them uh, two kill two birds with one stone so to speak uh there we go that is Tourborg Special. Now the little one is Tourborg Shock Strong Beer. And we have a little baby Star of and Glass for a little baby but very strong mighty beer. Now I don't know whether they sort of their strong beers are sort of whether they you know regard them as tramps piss basically like we do. <laughs> like trampy beers. Or, you know, maybe they're more high class in Turkey. You, I don't know. You know, different countries are different, aren't they? But right. as far as the beers in the glass go, there's a close up look of your beverages. On the left is the 7.5 one, a special, you know, medium carbonation, slightly off white head, deep golden colour. There's actually bits of sediment in this lager. Definitely. Now, I don't know if you're going to put that up in the camera. But you might have to take my word for it, but there's sediment in that lager. There we go, I'll try my best. Now, the shot, there's also sediment in it, but it's a lighter, more sort of pilsner golden colour. Maybe slightly darker than a pilsner. Again, off white head, they look very similar as far as the sediment and the carbonation goes in the heads. But the shot is definitely, definitely lighter. Lots of micro sediment throughout the whole thing. Kind of mad. I wasn't expecting that from two um, strong beers, so we say. All right, there we go. The heads, you know, they, they're dying off a little bit, but higher ABVs, that does tend to happen. <coughs> Wish me luck, people. Let's check out the aroma of the Turbo 7.5 Special. Isn't it weird? Uh, beers that are normally shit say special or premium on. That's so weird. For me, that's almost an alarm bell. So that says special or premium. They're normally shit. It's very odd because the good beers don't have to write their premium because, you know, the reputation normally speaks for itself kind of thing, you know. Anyway, let's check the aromas out of this bad boy. Oh, Jesus. Sweet. Very, very sweet. Grainy. I'm not sure if it's a syrupy sweetness. But it's very sweet, kind of like, Caramel biscuity sort of maltiness, malty sweetness. 
not much aroma really considering it's seven and a half percent there ain't much aroma just sweet all right let's check out the aromas of the Tilburg shot that's got even less aroma even that stronger caramel like maltiness and that is about it i mean they do say they're 100 percent malt and they do smell very very malty um <laughs> Before I try these guys, let me know if you've tried either of these two beverages, perhaps while you've been on holiday in Turkey, or perhaps some nutter brought them back for you, like in my case. Uh, and let me know if you thought of them, or perhaps you're Turkish. If you are, give me a bit, give us a bit more information in the comments section below. You know, is this a high class beer in Turkey, or is it what the tramps drink? I'd be interested to know. But either way, I'm gonna give them a try. Cheers, everybody. Double Bosch, Bosch, Bosch. Two days in a row we've had a double Bosch now, haven't we? Well, I can't see the bell getting used, but who knows? I could be surprised. Cheers, people. Um, not very nice. I think the face said it all, really. I don't really need to say anything. You can tell by my face that it's not very nice. It's very sweet and it's very malty and it's slightly caramel like maltiness. Perhaps a little bit bready as well. Not a lot else on that first go. But first impression is a sweet, malty, Turkish bag of shit. But let's see, maybe it's a grower. Maybe I can get used to that sweetness. Okay. <clears throat> After that malty caramel sweetness, there's a hit of... <laughs> alcohol uh, it doesn't really burn on I think on the way down it's slightly warming it tastes like someone's put a fucking shot of something in it to be honest with you it really, really does <laughs> oh mate the sweetness the sweetness is obviously there to try and mask that alcohol taste it's not doing that because it tastes like someone's put a shot of bloody vodka or something in it. It's fucking horrible. It is. I mean, I know some people like this sort of stuff. You know, there are tramps in the world. And if you like this sort of thing, you know, hopefully things will get better for you. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to have one more go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I've never said this before about a beer. <laughs> Do you know what it tastes like? Honestly. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. <laughs> you know... <laughs> you just do a birthday card or you send a letter or whatever. You know when you lick the, the sticky bit before you stick it down? This beer tastes like that. It tastes like freaking glue or <laughs> whatever it is that they put on them. Fucking let envelopes. It really does as well. It reminded me of saying it, I just couldn't think what it was, and it is that. It's like the licking the freaking envelope taste. Some people like that taste. You'll probably love this beer then, but Jesus. Slightly drying towards the end. A bit tinny. And more than a bit shit. Right. I would give that 3.5 out of 10. It's just, oh, no. Nah. It's not for me. It's really not for me. You can probably tell. It's just not for me. Um, Would I drink the rest of it? I might do for a quick buzz. Um, <laughs> let's, let's go on to the turbo. Turbo shot. Now that says shot. I don't know if you're supposed to down it in one. 
but if it tastes anything like that, I mean, this is stronger. Uh, yeah, I probably won't be able to review it if I do that. So I'm going to have a little bit of a sip. <sighs> and let me see if I've got the balls or whether I put it out, I suppose. <laughs> All right, cheers, everybody. Oh, fuck. This one looks like bloody... <sighs> they call it uh, Tramp's Piss, didn't they? This one fucking looks like piss. Dehydrated piss from a night on the session the next <laughs> the next morning. Oh god, wish me luck, people. I'm going in. Oh fuck me. Oh Jesus. What am I doing to myself? Seriously, what am I doing? Drinking this shit when I've got a perfect draft machine behind me with a keg of Hasselroder in it. <laughs> oh God, what am I fucking doing with my life? Jesus Christ, this one's even worse. <laughs> I didn't think it could get much worse than that. Oh dear. It tastes less envelope though. So why am I saying it's worse if it tastes less envelope -y? It doesn't taste envelope. It doesn't taste like an envelope, this one. Actually, I don't think it is worse. It's just... No, it's actually better, I think. Better than a bag of shit? Not really the highest praise, is it? But it's... <sighs> I can't even think about what it tastes like because it's so horrible. Like, I'm trying to explain. I'm not doing a very good re review here, people. <laughs> I do apologise. It, what does it taste like? It just tastes fucking horrible. <laughs> it's fucking Turkish tramps piss. A shot of it. And this t particular Turkish tramp has literally got absolutely wankered the night before. So his piss is like still really fucking strong. Oh, overly sweet, syrupy, alcoholy. I feel like my breath smells like piss, but it's more drinkable than the other one. And actually, it doesn't really taste stronger, really. It's just syrupy dog shit though. Oh, I said I would. Oh, let's just, let's shut it now. I'll add a few sips to give you some tasting notes. There's not a lot there. It's just sweet caramel sort of maltiness. More sweet caramel maltiness. A bit of Turkish piss. And that's just it. It's just crap. It's not as tinny as the other one though. And envelope people. Anyway. Fucking bottoms up. Oh, God. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I tried. Oh. God, he's got a head again now. <laughs> he looks more appetising when I'm spying back out. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm busy that. Oh, it's one thing drinking it slowly. But as soon as it made contact with my mouth, I didn't even have a choice. Just every single part of my whole body was telling me, spit that shit out. You don't need that in your system. So, yeah, call me what you want in the comments, but I'm glad I spat it out because like, I, I just, it was just a reaction. It wasn't a choice. I had no choice because it's really sweet and putting a whole lot of me gob in one go. It was just, I just couldn't do it. It just, everything just told me, evacuate, evacuate the fucking Turkish piss. Uh, get rid. Like, you do not drink Turkish piss, mate. Go back to your German beer, evacuate the building. 
Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I apologise for failing, but I gave it a try. Uh, yeah, I don't do this very often, but uh, I might be able to finish. I'll finish it, but I just I'm not going to drink it fast because it's just diabolical. And annoyingly, that one was actually nicer, and I spat that one out in the glass. So I'm stuck with this one now. I might even just leave it. Uh, I don't know. I'll have a little think about it. See if the missus likes it. She might love it. She's more into the sweet stuff. But it's not even a nice sweetness. It's just a. Oh. Anyway. I gave the other one a 3.5. Oh. I was probably too generous, to be honest. I can't score that little one more, even though it's better. So I was too generous. I know, the first one I'll give a 2, the shot I'll give a 2.5, but avoid these beers, they're, they're shit, don't do it to yourself, just just don't, just, just don't do it, just don't, thank you people, smash the like button if you've enjoyed watching me suffer, consider subscribing to the channel if you're not done already for more beer reviews, um, hopefully better beers in the future than this. Uh, take it easy, people. Bye-bye, darlings. Bye.